NASA is going to shift into planet Earth defense mode tonight with a mission that's part science and part science fiction. A spacecraft will complete a 10-month flight through the solar system and intentionally collide with an asteroid. As CBS 2's Mark Strassman shows us, it's a test for a potential real threat. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART. Back in November, NASA launched Earth's first planetary defense mission called DART. So far, everything's looking good. The first, unless you include Hollywood. In the 1998 sci-fi thriller Armageddon, our planet's in big trouble. The bullseye for a Texas-sized asteroid. The United States government just asked us to save the world. Earth's only defense, Bruce Willis. You're going to remote detonate the bomb. Well, I'm the real Bruce Willis. <laughs> you are. <laughs> well, sort of. Lindley Johnson's job title with NASA, Planetary Defense Officer, finding asteroids in our solar system before they find us. More than 27,000 near-Earth asteroids seen here in blue have been identified so far. About 10,000 of them look large enough to cause damage if they struck Earth. As it now stands, how vulnerable is the Earth to one of these objects? Well, to a large object, there's you know, currently nothing uh, uh, to stop it. Which brings us back to DART, the double asteroid redirection test. DART is a spacecraft that's purposely going to crash into an asteroid. Planetary scientist Nancy Chabot leads the DART coordination team. Chabot showed us tonight's test target, a harmless double asteroid nearly 7 million miles away. The DART spacecraft is going to come in at 15,000 miles per hour and hit it pretty much head on here. That impact could slow this smaller asteroid's orbit by about 1%, enough to make a hypothetical threat miss Earth. Small nudge changes its position over time so that the Earth and the asteroid wouldn't be on a future collision course. No known asteroid of size threatens Earth for at least the next hundred years. A good thing, no one knows whether DART will work. Plan B, Hollywood has some ideas. The two halves are going to miss us by 400 miles. Mark Strassman, Laurel, Maryland. Hmm. That is quite something. Telescopes on all seven continents, along with the Hubble and the Webb Space Telescopes, will all photograph this experiment. Hope they're on target. We'll see how it goes. It's like throwing a touchdown pass, right? <laughs> it is.